What's up, internet world? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. Back with another walking tour. Back with another in real life video. And what do we got going on in this video? We are going to hike Mount Davidson. So this is a um, pretty hidden place in the city. It is quite foggy sometimes. And today, we'll do a in real life video, and we'll do it here um, at Mount Davidson. I don't know which way we want to go, but we can take either way. I think I want to take the stairs because I want to go up quickly. So we'll take the stairs. We'll get this video started. I just had me a protein shake. And I don't like this protein shake that I got. It's one of those protein shakes from Grocery Outlet. And it's one of those I got and I don't like it, but I don't want to throw it away because it was like, I don't know, $18 or something like that. I'm like, okay, I'll drink it. And now it's growing on me. <laughs> now I'm getting used to it. Now I'm like, okay, it's not so bad. I just add a little bit more water to it. Water it down a little bit more. So this video, um, like I said, we're gonna title these videos, well, some of these videos. Some will just be random freestyle videos, but this one, we're gonna title, Why I Don't Like to Go Out and Party Anymore. Okay, so that's what we'll talk about in this video. As we scroll through Mount Davidson, there's like a cross up there, but I think we got some time before we get there. So meanwhile, we'll chat. Look at some beautiful views. And we'll just have a walk and chat video. I hear the humidity is very high today. This is why I don't like to go out. Okay, so the reason why I say that, like I went to like this rave recently and you know, it was cool, it was fun, but like, raves are really not my thing. This is like pretty grown up here. Raves are definitely like not my thing. Um, I am definitely more of, of a person that wants to do something chill. You know, I will go to the club every once in a while, um, but usually I want to do something chill. I like to talk. I like to meet other people. Um, I like to have engaging conversations when I go out. This is one reason why I don't like to go to movies much. Because when you go to movies, you kind of have to be quiet the whole time <laughs> and watch the movie. So I'm not really a movie goer. Um, shows and performances, yeah, to a certain degree. But I'm more of a person that like to go out to eat. It's really my thing, I like to go out to eat. So when I was younger, living in Tennessee, um, even in California, um, even in Santa Barbara, the same thing. I went to a lot of dinner parties, a bunch of dinner parties, right? And I love dinner parties. Dinner parties are awesome. Why I love dinner parties so much is you sit down at the table, you drink, maybe you smoke, and you eat food, and you drink water. It's not loud. There's no rager going on. You know, you can have engaging conversations. You can sit back and chill. You can watch TV, you can play video games. You can surf the web on your phone. It's chill. And growing up, I did a lot of that. <laughs> like that was majority of my partying was going to like house parties. <laughs> I love them. Uh, I don't know which way we wanna go, this way? Or this way, that's closed for maintenance. Let's go this way. So I spent a lot of time doing that. And oh, there was the cross here. Over here and you know when I lived down in Santa Barbara I had this other friend Sean and he had um, we used to always hang out at his house this is when I was going to community college and this dude bought a coffee table not a coffee table he bought a dinner table you know how one of those you had buy those dinner tables and you can you put the, the piece in the middle to make it make the table bigger right he bought one of those tables 
and we're all in college and it was perfect because you could easily sit around and study, right? Here's the cross here. You could easily sit around and study and that's what people do. They would go to his house and study. But when you're done studying, we would also have a lot of dinner parties at his house. In the dinner parties that we would have, every now and then we would actually have a dinner party where there's actually food on the table, like a lot of food on the table. But mainly what we did was we would have dinner parties um, where we just make like pasta. Pasta with red sauce. Boil the pasta on the stove, add some red sauce, sit down, eat some pasta with red sauce. <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> that's how we would do it, you know? It's quiet today. I'm not going to remember how to get down. <laughs> that's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to get lost over here. But we can walk around and explore. It's not too busy. It's like 11 o'clock on a Tuesday. 1043. Yeah, so uh, I end up doing that um, a lot. And I really didn't party that much in Santa Barbara, right? Uh, just because... I don't know, I, I was sort of like already out of the partying phase because I started partying and we started drinking at like 16. Man, we were like bomb, we were like literally had like bottle, my friend, my, one of my friends growing up, we would literally go and get these bottles of vodka and we would just get wasted at like 16, 17 years old. So by the time I turned 21, uh, partying wasn't that big of a deal for me. Like going out, partying wasn't big of a deal. I, I just like to smoke. But I wasn't into like anything else. I think I did mushrooms a couple times, like down in SoCal. But uh, yeah, I, you know, partying, going to ravers, that definitely wasn't really my thing. Boo and I went to this drum and bass concert in Italy. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm just gonna tell you, it was crazy. Like it was crazy. I would never wanna go to something like that. Like just eight days of going to concerts where it's just raging like every single day and don't get me wrong it was a lot of fun like there were there were parts of the trip that was a blast like the pool party dude the pool party was so awesome like so many chicks at the pool you know and also the beach parties were even better because the beach parties were like crazy like so many people were at the beach parties and it was just awesome um but waking up and doing all the walking and Waking up really early on the last day and just being sad because I'm leaving and I didn't even really get to experience the island. That's another thing that was kind of lame. We went all the way to, you know, this really dope island in Italy and I didn't even get to experience it because every single day we did the same thing. We are like, just go to the show, go to the show. And after that, I was like, bro, man, that's not the way to live life, dude. Like, I'm, I'm older now. I'm not, like, 20 years old. If I was 20 years old, it would be different. But I'm like, dude, I can't do this. Like, this, this sucks on your body, you know? And I was surprised to see so many old people there. And they're just raging, you know? And I don't know. I've just got to the point where I just really don't like to go out that much, you know? It's, it seems like it's, um, I don't know. Let's go this way. <laughs> Let's go back up. This probably leads us back up, but we'll just make a loop again. Um, yeah, I'm just getting to the point where, like, I'm just like, bruh, I don't even want to go out. Like, too much stuff happens, you know? I want to do something chill. Let's go see, like, a show. Like, not a three-hour-long show, but let's go see, like, a, you know, a show. Uh, let's go get a drink somewhere. Let's go somewhere where we can, like, sit and chat. Not somewhere where, like, there's loud music and I'm going to leave. And after I leave, my freaking ears are ringing for, like, you know, the next 12 hours or something. Yeah, that's not the way to live life. But I don't know. What do I know? Like, I'm just a dude that lives in San Francisco. Right? <laughs> How do I know? <sighs> kind of a big hill. Sorry that I'm breathing hard. But. Come on out. Come on 
out. Going out. Another thing I really like to do when I go out, I like to do, I like to do city stuff, right? Uh, like, I like hang out in the city, especially on the weekends. I don't really do that on the weekends. I usually just hang out with Boo, and then we just do something that, you know, let's go take, let's go take the dog to the park, right? <laughs> let's go do this. Like, I would love to, like, do, like, city stuff, you know? I'm um, going out. I have, to, I have to get Boo to do more stuff like outside of the park <laughs> because parks are cool especially when I'm making a video um, but just to go to the park just to walk the dog is like you know it's like we, we can't go to this park because it's not a dog friendly park so we just never go to that park you know it's kind of like uh, I guess I'm going to have to go have to go uh, explore going out what else is crazy about going out? We don't want to go up that again. Let's go back down. Yep. Yeah, uh, another thing about going out here in the city depends on what you like to do. Like honestly, I like I like um, hip hop, and I don't like to go to clubs often, but I definitely like hip hop. And there's not a lot of there's not a lot of hip hop here. Um, you, that's more of an Oakland thing. You gotta go to Oakland and hear good music like that. You might find a couple places. I think the Lookout was a place that played. Not the Lookout. The, um, the Hideout was a place that um, that played hip hop music. But a lot of places don't because of. I mean, look at the population. Like, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of black people in San Francisco. <laughs> so you know, there's not a lot of hip hop. So. That's another reason why I kind of don't go out. If there was more hip-hop places that were closer, I would probably definitely go to those more. But now I usually just go to bars that, like, I usually just go to bars in the city. And bars are okay, but I kind of have to watch going to bars because bars can sort of be a drag sometimes. Um, it's really fun when you go out and meet people and you talk to people, but then sometimes it's also fun to just go out and just have a, a briefer, right? just to go out and kind of um, unwind. Maybe you're busy all day. Maybe you're doing this, maybe you're doing that. And you could just sit down for like 30 minutes and just like chill. Like, you know, look at Instagram, look at some models or something. Um, you know, you can kind of take a little break. <laughs> um, sometimes that's better than like, you know, talking to people at the bar because I've kind of had to like watch, I kind of had to like go to the bar like differently because I would go and then sometimes like I would, talk to people and they would like see oh you're like always happy you're like always in a good mood but then they would always tell me something that's like super messed up you know and it's like <laughs> maybe I shouldn't talk to you because you're like so dang negative all the time you know and it's almost like you're you always tell me something that's really messed up something that's negative and it's something that like I can't change like I can't do anything about that problem I understand it's happening but like, I come to the bar to chill, not to be, like, super depressed, you know, not to hear, like, the worst story I've heard, like, all dang day, you know? <laughs> I just come to, like, chill, you know? So, it's kind of one of those things. I want to take, I mean, we're going to go back this way, and I want to take that other trail, because we went that way, and I want to go the, another way, because I think there's a bus stop over here. I want to kind of like, show people that bus stop, so if you want to come here, you can see and you can figure out what number of bus to catch because this is a, a pretty cool park it's massive it's not much of a view because there's hills everywhere trees covering everything but we already went this way but like i'm gonna go i think we went left i'm gonna go right yeah bars man Bars gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> they can be, uh, but also going out. Like I like to do, um, I like to do a lot of cycling stuff. Now the weather has to be right for that. Like they have like critical mass on Friday nights, but it's mainly skates. But a few bikers go to that. I like to do stuff like that. I also like to do like stuff like this, like random hiking. Bars, um, bars can be overrated at times. Um, if you're looking for something free to do, um, I would say on the weekends, instead of going to the bar, 
go to Dolores Park. There would be so many people at Dolores Park. If it's a nice day. If it's a cold, windy, windy day, there may not be people there. But Dolores is usually a nice, warm spot. It's a great place to spend the afternoon. Dolores Park is free. And people would always ask me, like, yo, it's Saturday at 2 p.m. Why is the Castro so dead? Well, the Castro is dead because everyone is at Dolores Park, especially young people. They're all at the park. And Dolores Park is pretty epic. Um, nice views of the city. And it's in a warmer place in the city. Uh, some places in the city are much colder than others. Like the Presidio. <laughs> it's definitely a breezy neighborhood compared to the Bay View. The Bay View is not so, it's not so warm. Uh, let's kind of go over this. And then we'll go back down. And the bus stops over there. I see it at the end. This is a nice view of the city over here. This is the other side of the city. This is not facing downtown. We're on the back side of this hill, by the way. Hey, if you guys are still watching the video until now, let me know down in the comments. Put uh, 1645. And I know that you watch, so 16, 1645. It's stunning today. And the crazy thing about San Francisco is they say that the city is burning. They say the city's on fire. They say the city is just horrible. But not these parts of the city. This part of the city's dope, yo. This part of the city's super nice. It's mainly downtown that sucks, y'all. Even the Mission District is not as bad as downtown because there's just a lot more people in the Mission. There's a lot of people, you know, Mission's not so bad. Now there's downtown over there. You see what kind of hill we're on? Um, that's Twin Towers over there, covered in fog. And here, I, I kind of feel some sun hitting me. I don't think I've ever been over here. It's like nobody out. The reason why there's probably no one out is this is not so dog friendly. And if this was all green grass, believe me, it would be people out with their dogs. But this is not, um, yeah, most people don't want to bring their dogs on this. And then it just goes, it's all these rocks, you know? And then it just goes to the end. You know, they'll hurt the doggies' feet. So they don't bring dogs everywhere. So it's just, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people do, but not that many people probably do. There's a bench here you can sit down. Take in the views. I can't tell you what neighborhoods these are, so don't ask. I think that's Twin Peaks neighborhood over there for sure. Going up over there. But I don't know what this one is down below. Yeah, I can't tell you what these are. <laughs> I don't come over here that much to know all the neighborhoods, you know. <laughs> but that's the real city over here. Um, you know, these are the people that have lived here through the crashes and the booms. versus the people downtown. Oh, there are people bringing dogs over here. There's not much grass though to poo. I guess maybe if your dog likes to poo on rocks. 
works. There's nothing wrong with that. Crap on some rocks. Let's go. It's becoming a little dog farm. As soon as I said that. Cool, cool, cool. We are back on the other side. So we'll go down that um by that bus stop and I'll kind of take the street. Because that this neighborhood over here, I don't know what neighborhood this is, but this neighborhood is epic. And it, it, it doesn't look like it's too fancy. It just looks very quiet and houses are cool looking and you know it's just a residential neighborhood there's no stores there's not a lot of foot traffic because there's nothing really up here there's no apartment buildings so you don't have a lot of like you know people going to one place a lot of most people have garages over here parking is better a lot better over here but it's still not like great um i don't see parking i don't see um street street sweeping signs over here though which is kind of cool yeah it's very very neighborhoody it's very very san francisco oh sure it's very local around here like tourists don't come here I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but I just mean like it's too far off the beaten path. I keep tripping over here. It's like a way too far off the beaten path for like somebody who's coming here for four days, five days to come. Unless they like know about this place and they're like, hey, I want to go here when I'm in the city, you know. But there's so many other parks, you know. Twin Peaks would be a better option than coming here, actually. Because Twin Peaks is more world-renowned. Like, people know about Twin Peaks. Now, Davison, I, it's a cool place, but I don't think people just know about it, you know? Um, <laughs> I think Twin Peaks is like, it's Twin Peaks. It's the, the two big twin things. And it also has the cell phone tower over there, the radio tower over there. So it's way, it's just known. It's a San Francisco thing. You can see that, that tower from hella far like i've been on top of berkeley hills and you can see the tower great it's like yeah there's the tower right there and you can also see the city great from berkeley hills it is pretty cool we are almost down so this here is the this here is the bus stop so you can't just take the bus up here from like i, I guess from downtown not all buses go and start in downtown. So that's just something to think about. So you can take the bus here. Now this neighborhood is like, like I say, it's a quite quiet San Francisco neighborhood. Like, it's kind of cool. We're just gonna wait here. I'm gonna wait, let these people walk by. they're gonna go on the trail but they like went the other way yeah so like you look at this type of it's how quiet that is <laughs> but remember if you watch fox news they're gonna tell you that all of san francisco is like on fire and the whole place is like a dumpster fire and you know something else that really annoys me i'll tell y'all something that really annoys me i've been seeing a lot on social media they keep saying that whole foods is gone like Whole Foods is gone, right? It's left San Francisco. 
I keep saying that Whole Foods is left in San Francisco. I keep hearing this over and over. And that one flagship store left. There's still like eight other stores in the city. <laughs> so it's not like Whole Foods is gone. There's just that one store is. And there's still another store downtown, the one on 4th Street. But anyway, for now, I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. And peace out, yo. Ow!